Hey there, Otaku. Ken Chan back with another episode of Go Mega Otaku Gamer Alpha. Um, it's been a long winter, and it's not over yet. <laughs> We're uh, due to get uh, another foot or two here come, um, you know, Monday. Uh, trust me, when, when the weather returns and things get a little bit less depressing and less crappy, the show's going to come back in full force. I ask you to hang in there. Welcome to the new subscribers. Um, there's much more on the way, trust me. Um, but today, what, we're, what I'm going to do is, um, I wanted to take you yet on, you know, on another trip down memory lane. Um, uh, for years we've had, you know, video games, and uh, along with that, there has arisen another industry around that, and that's the video game journalism. Uh, there have been uh, video game magazines um, and computer magazines that... Uh, arose around the video game industry to review games and to make commentary and the like. So what I wanted to do today is look at some of the older, you know, a little bit more retro beginnings of that. So um, let's take a look at what I have here. Um, what we have here, I have some old Atari Age magazines here. And these are, these are from, uh, this one's from, let's just say here, um, yeah, February of, what's that, February of 83, January, February of 83, here's one from November, December of 82, Atari age with the E.T., everybody's favorite. Of 83. Yeah, and I wanted to look inside some of these actually. What's the date on this? Oh, here we go. Um, August of 83. These, these are all around the time of the big crash, uh, June of 83. Um, <clears throat> so let's have a look inside one of these. Uh, let's look in this pole position one here. Actually, let's go with it. With let's look in the oldest one that I have, and that's this this ET thing here. Let's have a look inside that. Okay, so let's I'm gonna open this up here, and uh, first thing we see is here's a little article about what it looks like inside these controllers. Um, you know, they take them apart, and they you know, big article about that. And, 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 and then, of course, E.T. needs your help. E.T. needed, huh, boy did E.T. need help. Wow. The, they, how could they have known? Um, uh, you know, some uh, letters to the editor type things and pictures and stuff like that. Um, then there's a captain's log. They did this captain's log thing. It's like a half a page here. And uh, it's like a, uh, the editor, you know, making his commentary there about stuff. Um, uh, stuff in the back there. Um, anyone that remembers these old magazines like this remembers that they always had these damn tiny little pictures of, of graphics, of screen graphics. I guess they felt no purpose in making them big so you could see them real well because there really wasn't that much on the screen but they always had these tiny little pictures of these you know on-screen graphics they would have big full page things of things like this you know of the Atari force you know where it's where the graphic is is is, is comic book or something that somebody drew it was artwork it's not actual in-game graphics somewhere I have an Atari force comic or two um, and they talk about the Atari Force comic and how it came to be in this issue. Um, they, they always talked about stuff coming in, in you know, in the coin ops, you know, the, the, the arcades. Uh, you know, here's a Raiders of the Lost Ark uh, commercial here. Um, and these pages are actually, this magazine is actually a pretty high quality magazine. It, not that many pages to it, but th th there's glossy, you know, pages. There's no pulpy pages in it. Uh, a little thing, you want to be Steven Spielberg. Um, 
And again, these little pictures of things, even though, while these aren't game graphics, they're actually movie. I think they're from they're from movies. Like what's this? Uh, poltergeist uh, scene and, and close encounters and jowls. Um, and then, uh, of course, the clubhouse. And they're taught. They're looking at here. They're looking at. You know, um, the 5200 that's coming out. And they have an ET, what's that, an ET dinner tray. Remember dinner trays? Um, and a little Atari rocket that you could get. Um, and here was a contest order form that's still intact. It, you know, it folds out like so. You fill it out. Uh, I wonder what would happen if I filled that out and mailed it. It'd probably return to sender. Um, Atari Digital Watch. Here's here's an Atari Digital Watch that was a prize in this contest. Um, <clears throat> the six Atari games in the boxes below. They're using, I guess, they're using like these these pictures to spell out a game, and then you enter the contest, and then they pick you from a drum or whatever. Um, oh, look at the tacky uh, wood grain, faux wood grain. Um, you know, storage unit for the Atari 2600 there. That's just lovely, isn't it? <laughs> Those things are so beautiful. Uh, I love that one green look. Not. Um, there's a cartridge holder, you know, and a game book. Book this holds instruction manuals. Wow. Um, and, you know, a dust cover for your Atari and blah, blah, blah. And here's, you know, some other little gadgets and knickknacks that you can get from the Atari Club. You can get the Atari Bear, you know. <sighs> oh, yes, an Atari, Atari 82 in review. It's like, you guys are going to crash soon and you don't even know it because of this game right here. <laughs> And then, of course, they have these this this uh, cartridge. You can order these cartridges, and or you can order from this calling this number here. Um, I wouldn't call that now. It's probably out of service anymore. But um, you know, here's all these cartridges that you can get at, at, at lower prices. And then it's the back. These weren't very thick. There's really, you know, it's more like a pamphlet than really than anything else. Okay, here's an Atari age where. You could order the, uh, uh, a, a copy of uh, Crazy Climber from the Atari Club. Um, and it's... Yeah, I wonder how many people actually did that. Um, and then you go in here and there's a big... Here's the big uh, to-do about that. Go for it. I'm sure instead of going... Instead of saying, go for it, he probably just goes... Wah, wah. Or something like that, you know, because that's about all 2600 could do. But, you know, big splash here of, 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 of artistic, you know, rendering of what, what the game is about. But no pictures, of course, of the uh, on screen. Here's how to make a left-handed joystick. You know, for everybody that's interested in doing that. There's a layout there. Another captain's log. And this one is almost a full-size page it's but it's still not a full-size page and of course you have your letters to the editor Ms. Pac-Man commercial the solution section whatever, yeah, whatever. Ms. Pac-Man um, and there's the, the cartridge and, and they did a decent job with Ms. Pac-Man actually I think much better than Pac-Man here we go so back to the tiny little pictures that they have of of games. They have Vanguard. You know, these tiny little pictures. Ms. Pac-Man. Wee tiny little pictures of Ms. Pac-Man Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Sword Quest Fire World. Remember this game? It's an adventure game. I don't know how much of an adventure it really was, but you know, it was an adventure game. And, 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 and an exclusive Atari Club cartridge introduction. Crazy clamor. And here they show screenshots 
from this game. I don't have this game. I'm going to keep my eyes out for this. Maybe see if I can get my hands on it. I don't know how much it costs. I could be saying, I could say that right now and go on eBay and find that they're going for $500 a piece, in which case I will not get one. I don't know. Offhand, I haven't looked. Um, here's a $25,000 gold chalice you can get for solving the mystery of Sword Quest Fire World. And here's a Fire World t shirt. Uh, and now, here's some information you don't find really on the internet. This design, remember this design? This is for the, um, yeah, the Atari 7800 design for the, the uh, joystick. Sans the, the silvery trim. Um, but that was actually supposed to go... Atari to introduce advanced controllers for VCS, otherwise known as the 2600. And they go into the crap about it, and it's this thing. Um, this was originally slated for the VCS, for the 2600. Something that uh, you really can only find out about if you have this copy of this damn Crazy Climber Atari Age magazine. That information really isn't out there on the internet. I looked. Uh, maybe you can find something. If you can, leave a comment below. Tell me where you found it. Send me a, a message, whatever. Um, here's the thing, climbing the walls. This talks about crazy people um, that have... Uh, there used to be a thing in this country uh, years ago. These crazy people would climb these tall buildings and stuff, and there'd be a cop waiting for them or the, or the fireman at the, at the top of the building. Sometimes they would get arrested. Sometimes they'd get charged. Other times they wouldn't. Depends on where you did it. Here is a, a nifty little uh, scorekeeper thing you could put on your fridge. <laughs> and, of course, the same kind of crappy commercials that you had in the last one that I showed you here. And here's the, uh, the Atari Club ET contest with an order form here. And you fill it out. Um, Phoenix is coming for the Atari 2600. How about that? Arm your missiles. Charge your shields. Yay, 5200 uh, Flash, talking about, uh, you know, the 5200 um, cartridges and stuff that were just either coming available or about to come available. And again, even though these graphics are better than what you saw in the 2600, not by much, but, you know, certainly by today's standards, they were still splotchy. Um, but, you know, still tiny little pictures. The, the, this stuff was always took, the, you know... The, the artwork crap always took up a page, but the actual in-screen graphics of games were always these tiny little stupid things. Oh, there's Superman up there for some reason. Um, here's a guy that found, found a Pac-Man machine game in the desert. Uh, so, and of course you can save on Atari cartridges again at the end of the magazine. Vanguard ad at the back. Okay, I'm not doing these really in chronological order. I don't think. At this point, it doesn't really matter. Um, I remember that the Atari 2600 was the first game system that was in our household. My brother and I got it for Christmas one year. I would have been about 12 or 13. He would have been about 9 or 10, maybe 11. Uh, and we, uh, we just played the hell out of it. Um, basically, and it was very durable, even though we played the hell out of it, 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 it held together forever, and it stayed in the house there till well, we were well into high school, and even till after we moved out of the house, and my mom, my parents just never really did anything with it. Um, so, here we come to a magazine, this magazine here, the Captain's Log, is actually this whole spread here, let's back up, it's the whole um, layout of this for the captain's log. Um, a little different. And this one's a little thicker, too. Um, I I guess I could show you, but you can't really see that that's that much thicker. Um, okay, so, and of course the little dinky screen are still here. Pole position. Battle zone. Crawl. Okay, and here's a full page ad for Crawl. You know, that's pretty cool. Um, club member uh, wins uh, the sword quest thing. Yeah, it's this guy here. His name is um, 
Stephen Bell. <laughs> um, here's an interesting article, Atari Tell. Uh, the wraps are about to come off. Uh, that's what the brochure about Atari Tell uh, distributed at Atari's Consumer Electronics Show booth said. Rumors and guesswork have grown steadily for nearly two years now as engineers worked in secret on the mysterious project Falcon. Now, Falcon is the basis for an entirely new division of Atari, and while the company is not ready to reveal, deta uh, reveal details of their new products, this, is, this much is certain, the company will produce a new dramatically capable home network for voice communications, communications management, application control, security, environmental control. The system incorporates new technology and features not available in other residential telecommunications products. The Atari Tel line will include conventional telephones with advanced features and styling. Two of the world's leading industrial designers, Porsche Design and, and Morrison Morrison? Mor Morrison Cousin Morrison? What's that? Mor um, Morrison Morrison um, Cousins Association uh, Associates were commissioned to develop the product designs. Consumer shipments are intended to begin in early 1984. There now you know as much as we do. Um, looks like a like some kind of telephone service that they were looking at doing, or something like that. They were trying to expand the Atari brand in all kinds of crazy ways. You know, all the stuff that makes no difference now—it's all gone. You know, all of it. Gone. Gone! Um, okay. There's a, C a report from CES about the 2600 and the 5200 at the CES show. and They have coming attractions. Joust, Moon Patrol, Pango, and Dig Dug. Um, on, uh, I, I'm, imagine, I, I'm thinking that these are probably the 5200 versions. You can, maybe if you can tell by the dinky little thing there or not. Maybe not. Maybe it is for the 2600. Um... Four new home computers. Look at this. Look at this. Wow, look at that thing. That must have a lot of memory. Look at how big it is. Jesus. Uh, okay. So, these are the 600XL, the, 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 the 1450XL, the 400, 800, 1200, blah, 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 whatever. Um, these are the XL, XL computers that they released. Um, and I, I'm assuming this is still the CES thing. Um, they have a drawing pen and a, a light pen and a drawing tablet. Make computer art fun and fast. There's a drawing tablet. Now, you know, you've seen that. Here are some uh, controllers. I have a controller like this, and I have a controller like this. Um, except mine has silver trim on it. You know, a bunch of Pac Man jokes. Here's some crap about Defender. Master Strategy Guide, actually. Defender. How about that? Pole position. Again, big, splashy layout of pole position. Tiny little picture of the gra actual in-screen graphics. Always. It always works that way. Um, the making of a high-tech ad. Here they are. They're talking about this commercial that they made of, of, of Yar's Revenge, where a guy was sitting in, you know in the game or whatever and they talk about the effects that they use now you know you know of course now you don't even need to worry about that kind of crap you just CG everything you know, here he is in the game you know he's getting in getting into the game buddy oh here here's the letters to the editor I guess they put them in the back of the magazine for this issue here's a bunch of crap from the clubhouse store Okay, and you got a you got a trackball. You got this this page has balls. Look at the trackballs. Um, you can fix it yourself. Your your joypad. You have an Atari inflatable kite. Okay, and this thing again, <laughs> and this cup again, and this book again that holds the, the the manuals. Sun is fun, but I'd rather be playing Atari. I would love some sun right now. Um, like hot sun to melt all this poop that's stacked up all over town here. Um, Atari Hall of Fame, you know, again, the the, the, the scorekeeper. Here's a... <laughs> yeah, a case to carry your Atari around in. Mm -hmm. Right on. Bet you they sold a whole bunch of those. Um, club exclusives. 
Atari hat, the Atari Frisbee. How about that? And here's, you know, um, a cartridge checklist of crap you can order from them, too. <coughs> Berserk. And, of course, they have, they talk about the Berserk here and, 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 and little blurbs from different other magazines that were out at the time, like Electronic Games Magazine, Games Magazine, Joystick Magazine, and Video Games Magazine. Who would have thought that? And at the very bottom corner, they have a tiny little picture of the in-screen graphics of the, th of the damn thing. Okay. Here's another, here's an order form for some kind of sweepstakes they have going this, in this. You get a free pole position poster. Wow. I'd love a free pole position poster. Um, talk about sweepstakes. Here's some Star Wars. They're talking about the, um, the arcade game here. Uh, they're, they're hyping it up. Uh, here's a little tiny picture of the. Uh, again, a uh, screenshot here. Um, and they have a game called Arabian. And it's the it's the coin video corner. Okay. Now, here we go. A comic book about Star Raiders. Look at that artwork. I mean, jeez. It doesn't get much more. You know, you can't get much more goodness on one page than this. I mean, wow. I'm going to make a Star Raiders comic. I don't remember them ever actually doing that, but it could be. Join the Atari Club. Tell your friends. Join the Atari Club. Join the... Okay, friends. Join the Atari Club. Um, and here's Atari uh, Safari. Yeah, jungle Hunt and Kangaroo. Big splashy artwork. Well, not that big, I guess. Just you know, just kind of typical artwork there. And then uh, no picture of the actual game. Here's some more 5200 stuff. 5200 Flash again. I guess they're keeping you posted on 5200 Crapola. Dual joystick control for unique space battle cartridge adapter for the. But for the 2600, you put in the thing like that. It was supposed to work like that, I guess. I don't know if they ever made that. Look, look at that. Here's a small screenshot of some smashing graphics for something. Um, looks like a space dungeon, I guess. Um, for your 5200, and then we have the Battle Zone commercial on the back of the magazine. Okay, well, time and better judgment tell me that I probably shouldn't just continue to go through all these. I'll just point these out. These are the other ones that I have here. This Atari Age with the Real Sports Crapola, and Atari Age with the Video Cube, and these are from 19... This is from April 83, and this is May 83. So... You know, 83 was the big year, right right before these went right down the toilet, as everybody knows. That's when everything failed. Um, and that will, that's pretty much that for today. Uh, the show will be back. I'll be back soon, and we'll be back to hardcore reviewing of some video game systems. We have a uh, little bit of winter left here. I want to get through that, get this snow the hell out of here. Uh, that the snow really throws everything off. It really does. It makes everything really complicated. It makes everything a real big pain. So, um, again, to the new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Hang in there. Get your friends to subscribe. Um, also, this February, I, this is the first February that I did not get a chance to do my collection video. That's on the way, too. I'm not going to say when yet, but... Uh, it's on its way. Everybody hang in there, and uh, I shall return, and we'll be doing it just like we always do it, and we'll be hanging out together and doing the thing. So everybody take care. Thanks for checking out this episode. Share and subscribe. We'll see you real soon.